guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have a producer's letter here uh, for Global Dokkan. Now, this came out a few hours ago. I am not perfect. I can't be around 24-7, but this is very good. Um, Now, I guess we might as well jump into it first, but I would say this clears up sort of like the global schedule to me. Um, and why they chose to put Pan right now, which didn't make sense, um, until now. Like, I, I, I think that this makes everything pretty clear. Um, okay, so let's go and play this. Let's listen to what our girl Kodo, the global producer, has got to say. All right, let's go ahead. So, she's referring to the, the Gamma 1 and 2 sort of, like, teaser reveal that they did, right? Which, you know, it's fine. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think Gamma 1 and 2 coming is very exciting. One thing to remember right now, right? This is the first, like, new characters that Dokkan has to add from, like, like you know, that the main series. Not, like, Dragon Ball Heroes or something like that. Since the end of 2018, right? Dragon Ball Super Broly. <laughs> するという。ユーザー様は既にお気づきかと思うのですが、あの映像は実は新登場キャラクターのディザー映像となっておりました。今回はその新登場キャラクターの紹介をぜひ最後までご覧ください。Cool、cool。早速新登場キャラクターの
and sagas from the movies. Remember that Legends combines movie heroes and movie bosses. Essentially, it's just like a, 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 a saga arc. Um, and then they don't have, like, artificial life form. They don't have, like, a, a special pose. Oh, they probably... They probably would be on Defenders of Justice as well. Um, which is going to be, like, right here. Yeah, Defenders of Justice they should also be on. Let me just take a quick peek. Uh, like, there's a lot of categories that they sort of could vaguely be on. Oh, Battle of Fate shit. Okay. Um, remember that Battle of Fate as well? Um, this is a category... I gotta explain this every time, and people always... This category doesn't include movies. Battle of Fate. Um, and people will always point to Beerus, Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta, Golden Frieza. But remember, they had Dragon Ball Super story arcs. So because of that, um, they include them on here. But if you look, Blue Gogeta, Dragon Ball Super Broly, Cooler, Janemba, Gogeta, none of these characters are on Battle of Fate. They don't count movie characters on Battle of Fate. Except for Sal Max. Um, we know that the boss card, Sal Max, does have Battle of Fate. Sal Max is the first strictly movie character. Again, you know, you could say whatever you want to, but Golden Frieza has a story arc as well. Golden Frieza, um, the Resurrection F Blue is right here. Um, Beerus. Uh, oh, it's super class. Beerus, right? Like, these characters are on both a, a movie and a story arc. That's why they're on Battle of Fate. Um, but Cell Max has Battle of Fate, despite strictly being um, a, whatchamacallit, um, a movie, right? So, uh, chances are good that Gamma 1 and 2 could also have um, Battle of Fate. Now, one thing to keep in mind, though, I mean, th this is from Gamma 1. Uh, this is him fighting, you know, base Gohan, Super Saiyan Gohan, eventually Ultimate Gohan. Um, and I believe this is from Gamma 2 battling Piccolo. So, it is sort of like their first fights in the movie. So, I don't know if, like, we would get, like, a future Gamma 1 and 2 as well. I I guess, I, I don't think they would do this again, but back when Dragon Ball Super was airing, right? Remember, a couple of the Dokkan Fests that came out at the time, in UI Goku and STR Jiren, they dropped without uh, Dokkan events at, at the start. And they came a couple of months later for both. Um, I don't think they would do that, because it's like Gamma 1 and 2, it's not... They don't reveal, like, some new power-up or something like that um, towards the end. So, I don't I don't think they'll do that. I I think... Damn, do we think this will be a dual Dokkan Fest? Or would they just both be on the same banner? Uh, th there's no way one is a Dokkan Fest and then one isn't, right? I would have to imagine they're both Dokkan Fest. Would they just be on the same Dokkan Fest banner? Or would it be a dual Dokkan Fest? I... Hmm... It's hard to say. I, I feel like I could believe anything, right? Um, I feel like they could be a dual Dokkan Fest. I also would not be uh, completely shocked um, if, if they were both on the same banner. We we had one of these before. Um, I literally just saw it on Twitter a second ago. Let me grab this. This was... Yeah, here it is right here. We we had this a long time ago. We had this banner when um, the Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks and Fusion Zamasu were first introduced into Dokkan. This was one bit... Think about how insane this is, right? And, and this guy, he was returning after like two months. This has to be one of the craziest banners like on release in Dokkan history because you have the two new Dokkan Fests crazy leaders and then you had many people considered this guy like the best unit in the game at the time right like this guy was right there because this is before the second anniversary so this is before the super saiyan 4s this is before the first summonable lr uh in super saiyan 2 gohan right so perhaps gamma 1 and 2 could be this i, I guess it's possible that, again, one of them could be, like, the banner unit, and the other could be the Dokkan Fest, that would be a bummer, because then, like, one would likely just specifically be way better. I'm hoping, I think, best case scenario, because my main focus of these characters usually is I just want them to be good, right? Um, I think a banner, like what we saw with that Trunks and Fusion Zamasu, would be, I think, ideal. So that way, they would both be Dokkan Fest, they'd both be super, super good, 
Um, but then they, they'd be on one banner. And it's like, you know, again, like, people are going to be like, oh, I want to get Game 1 and 2. It's like, I mean, listen, it is a gotcha game. And th this is where I, Global, man, I've been telling y'all for years, I think the games would be better on the same, like, time frame, right? Because global players are kind of living under this false assumption that you guys can, like, plan ahead for shit and save for stuff. Were you able to save for anything? No, you weren't. No. No. <laughs> you had Anniversary, followed by, you know, the cooler movie stuff, right? I saw people like, what? Pan is coming now? I wanted Pan in January. I wanted to save for Pan. And Pan is out. And then now we're going into Gamma 1 and 2. Gamma 1 and 2... They mentioned the hollow. I, I, what damn, we're dude. I'm rambling away here. We're ten minutes in, and we're forty seconds into it. Um, but they mentioned the Halloween campaign, so I think it's very likely that these guys are the Halloween Dokkan Fest. Halloween Dokkan Fest in years past on JP Physical Super Vegito, AGL Metal Cooler, um, STR Cooler in Super Saiyan Four Gogeta. Um, last year was AGL Trunks. Uh, those were the Halloween Dokkan Fest. So, I mean, as you guys heard, Super Vegito, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and STR Cooler, right? Huge hype releases. So, um, I, I expect probably around Halloween is when these guys will drop. All right, let's, let's play this. Again, I'm just blabbering away here, but it's exciting, dude. The, the new characters for the first time. Oh, and uh, just to finish my point, I think Global needs to get caught up. Like, I, I guess they're just never going to... I mean, we're about to hit year eight, so yeah, they're not doing it, but... Uh, don't pretend like it's always like, oh, I like global because I have foresight and I can plan my stones and shit. Like, no, you can't. Like, they they do not. They have not given global an opportunity to do that in quite some time, right? It's just they they do stuff like this. Although this is a little bit different because we finally have fresh Dragon Ball content and we're closing in on the anime return, baby. <laughs> They both will be featured simultaneously in the Dokkan Festival. Yeah, see, that doesn't... I, I guess that that does make it seem like it's one banner, but... That does... Uh, yeah, they both will be featured simultaneously in the Dokkan Festival. It really does make me think it's one banner. Ah, damn. There's no way they're going to make one of them a banner unit, though, and one a Dokkan Fest. Huh? That would be such a bummer. I, I, I feel like I wouldn't like that. They, I really hope it's, like, Trunks and Zamasu, where they're both Dokkan Fest on the same banner. Part 2 of the movie campaign, okay. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, okay. Gamma 1 and 2's Dokkan events. So they're both Dokkan Fest. Awesome. That's great. Alright, new stages will be added to this the Gohan and Piccolo event. Um, That is this event right here. Now, <clears throat> at the moment, this event has almost no, like, nothing in here. Uh, Global once made a bit of an error, and they tweeted out, uh, like, the, this image. And it said, get the support memory on it. So at some point in the future, they will add a support memory. If this celebration with Gamma 1 and 2 drops and there's no support memory in this story, then we'll know for sure that it's still going to have stages added to it. Um, considering the increased drop is Miraculous Awakening, right? That's going to obviously coincide with Beast, Gohan, and Orange Piccolo. I'm going to expect that this event will not be done um with gamma one and two's release um because i mean if they're they're not gonna like if they're gonna have like beast go on a cell max that means they'll, they're they're not gonna be in there right there's no way because that would mean like their assets would be in like data downloads and stuff like that without it being like actual like sent, like it's not gonna happen yeah so there's they're probably just gonna add like a couple of sages to this um and then in the later on down the line there'll be like a part three or part four to the this celebration um the other thing too is Remember, um, I'm sure Dokkan's hands are tied with when they can release this stuff. I I'm pretty sure Toei is being very, very, uh, you know, like, telling that, okay, now you can drop this stuff, right? That type of thing. Alright, 
That was when Cell Max dropped, right? Maybe we could see the second fight added to Cell Max. <laughs> that would be crazy. Wait. We are planning to hold it around the end of October for the international version. After the event begins on the Japanese version. Um, Pan and Kid Goku came out on the same day. I, I, I don't know. That's, I mean, this implies that JP is getting this first. Potentially only by like a day or two. That would be weird. Uh, that's, I mean, if, I, I'm gonna expect... That Gamma 1, like, the banner would drop at the same time of both versions. Although she does sort of imply that it's coming to JP first. But even if it does come to JP first, it, uh, maybe a day, right? Uh, that, that's weird. That's odd. <laughs> yes, sir! Koto! That's what we're talking about. Okay, this is good. Um, so th this is going to be the new quest stages coming soon. Um, now I have done. You guys know there's no one that's doing more link leveling than me. Um, I think stage twenty eight two, which comes in this, the next time Global is going to get uh, quest stages, which by Halloween looks like it's going to happen. I think twenty eight two is the ideal link level stage. In the future, Global will also get Area 29. There's Stage 29.3, which is going to be a great Link Level stage for many people. Because while auto Link Leveling, you can get incredible gems. But in terms of like speed, efficiency for you know fastest Link Levels, 28.2 um, is the number one one. This guy's okay. LR Vegito Blue, he's okay. Yeah, Halloween. Okay. そして、ハロウィンに合わせたキャンペーンなど、たくさんのイベントを準備しております。こちらは遊びつつ、ガンマ1号、ガンマ2号の登場をお待ちください。今回のプロデューサーレターはこちらで以上となります。ドッカンバ
them dropping Pan does make a lot of sense now, I would say. Um, because it's like, they drop Pan, um, they drop, you know, like, the, the Fosh and Chibi banner, and then now we have this potential, like, Gamma 1 and 2 dual Dokkan Fest or something like that. Like, I could only imagine, like, if they had dropped the Resurrection F Blue characters, right? Like, the first week of October, and then, like, LR Golden Freezer was coming out in a couple of days. And then Gamma 1 and 2 were dropping right after, right? Like, I would say this probably works out better for Global. Um, let me know what you guys think, though, of Gamma 1 and 2. Definitely very excited. Um, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.